Hello kids, it's me again, the flying pen. Oh, do you remember my name? It is Mr. Miyagi. Is it my name? No, it cannot be. Bye bye Miyagi. My name is Mr. Oli. And I am 529 years old. I just keep getting older and older. Amazing. Okay, today we will look at Cambridge English Movers common vocabulary. So in this lesson, we're going to look at all the words that usually appear on the exam papers. You know, these words always, always, always appear. So if you remember these words, if you look up the meanings in the dictionary, and if you write lots and lots of examples, then you will do very well. So the first group of words are animal words. So we have the animal words. We have the part of speech. So they are all nouns. We have the meaning and the example. So, what you have to do is find a dictionary and a pen and some paper and you have to look for the word okay we shall do an example bat. So you look for the word bat in the dictionary then we have to write the meaning meaning of bat. What is a bat? Ah, I know a flying mouse. Well, that's what it looks like. It looks like a flying mouse. Example, the bat likes to fly. There we go. The bat likes to fly. That's my example. So, you can do examples for all of these words. Okay, so we'll look at some more words on the next page. Okay, these ones are about the body and the face. So, same thing again. You look at the words. You find a dictionary. You look up at the words. You see what part of speech they are. You write their meaning and an example sentence. So, we'll do... which one? Stomach. Do you know stomach? It's where all your food goes. All the KFC and McDonald's goes into your stomach. And you become very fat if you eat too much. Okay, so stomach. The meaning of stomach. Hmm, what does stomach mean? Mm, part of your body where food goes. Yeah, that's okay. Example, my stomach is holding some KFC. Is it a good example? Yes, it's great. So you have to write your own meanings and examples. Okay, the next words, family and friends. So we have the words, okay, the meaning and the example. So, which one shall I choose? Mm, how about parent? Parent is one, parents is two. So the meaning, uh, your mum and dad, they are your parents. My sentence, mm, mm, my parents 
Mm. Give me no food. Bad parents. Your parents have to give you food. Nah, my parents do give me food. I'm joking. Okay, so you have to write your own meanings and examples. Can you do it? Okay, I think you can. Let's move on to the next words. Yeah, you see, there are so many words. But I believe that you can remember all of them. Ooh, okay, so food and drink words. So which one shall Mr. Ollie use as his example? Ah, coffee. Many people like to drink coffee. Okay, meaning coffee. Meaning of coffee? Hot. Brown. Drink. That keeps you awake. Yeah, that's true. So my example is, if you drink coffee, you will not sleep. Yeah, it is difficult to sleep if you drink coffee. If you drink a swimming pool of coffee, you will never sleep again. Okay, let's try, ooh, health words. So if you are sick, these kind of words. Okay, which one shall we use as an example? Hmm. Ah, how about tired? Tired. Mm, it's an adjective. So you say, I am tired, he is tired, are you tired? Okay, meaning, meaning of tired, I think, no energy. Hmm. That will do. It means you have no energy, you cannot move. Okay, the example, example of tired. Mm. Mr. Ollie is so tired. He's so tired. He is sleeping on the on the hmm. Oh, what's this? On the street. There we go. Mr. Ali is so tired he is sleeping on the street. And yet